Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back, Chris Crone here. And today I've got a couple of questions coming in from a couple of folks that are in the military wondering what they can do to actually get started young in the game in real estate investing. Check it out. Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. Hey Chris, how's it going? My name is Sam Jensen. I'm 19 years old. I've been in the Army about a year now and I'm stationed here in Hawaii. Uh, my question for you tonight is, uh, what kind of things would I be able to do in my situation to prepare myself to get in the world of real estate, to try and pursue that, that dream and that goal of, of financial freedom and, and success? So, you know, if I could hear back from you, that'd be great. Thanks. Hey Chris, how's it going? Um, funny enough, my name is also Chris. I'm in the military, currently deployed. Uh, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because I know you got things to do. Um, recently just got into this whole business financing. Been learning as much as I can, watching YouTube videos day after day, trying to get some knowledge because knowledge is power if you wanna be successful on this road to financing. That's a big leap of faith for me because I've never done this before. But I'm single, I'm 26, and I figured it's the best time of my life to start doing that, put my money in a better spot. So for someone such as myself or anybody that's in the military that's always gone, deployed, always busy, uh, what's the best advice that you could give them? It doesn't have to be someone in the military in particular, Chris, but someone that's always busy, always working all the time. Uh, I understand that there's, it's gonna be a challenge. You're gonna sacrifice a few things, but that's always good if you wanna be successful in life. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's the mindset that I currently have right now, thanks to the military. <laughs> but any advice, tips, options would be greatly appreciated. Um, so hopefully you get this video. I look forward to watching your next YouTube videos. Thanks for all that you do, Chris, and just thank you for your time. Thanks. All right, hey, listen, first off, Sam, Chris, I just wanna, am I doing it the right way? If I, I was never in the, I don't know, but I just wanted to salute you guys and just say, Thank you for your service. Thank you for doing your part to help protect our, our country. And uh, I've got deep, deep respect for you. And as a result today, I thought I'm gonna pick your videos and I wanna give you guys the best advice I can. So first of all, Sam, 19, one year, stationed in Hawaii. Man, how did you get that station, right? I mean, awesome. Um, I'm sure it's really beautiful. And, uh, and then I know, Chris, you've been out there, 26 now, still single and trying to, both of you are trying to figure out how do I work the game, right? Busy in military life. And I wanna tell you something about military. We get, I help military people everywhere, stationed all over the world. Some, in fact, some of my partners that I'm working with, they're out in Dubai and, and different parts doing awesome private contracts or contracts with the government. And a lot of people in the military understand that you're part of a system that supports you and you support it. And you wanna know how to work a system that can help take care of you financially. And that's really what your questions are about. So I just wanna pause for a moment and just share a couple of thoughts with you that I think are gonna be useful. The first one is I wanna give you guys a free copy of my book. Just gratitude from me to you guys for actually being out there in the military. And I've just recently bought a truckload of my books and I'm giving them away for free. So if you click the link below, um, you cover the shipping, but basically let me get the book in your hand and let me give you guys a system that'll actually show you how you can go from nothing to millions of dollars, whether you're in the military or a poor college kid starting with nothing, right? Because you're both young, 19, 26 years old, trying to figure out really how to, how to make the most of life, right? I wanna share with you what I would do if I were you. Number one, should you be focused on buying real estate where you're stationed? I don't think so. Um, you've got this opportunity at a VA loan, which is awesome. VA loans, they're incredible for investing and investments. In fact, one of my partners, he bought a fourplex back home and he used the VA loan for it and he's, he's just making killer cash flow on it. So the government does give you guys a nice hookup for you know, those of you that are watching internationally, I don't know how your governments work, but you know, that's a really great hookup for basically getting into a super easy loan. What I would do is when you get stationed somewhere and you have a chance to come back, I want you to focus on getting a piece of property on the mainland in a really good market. It doesn't have to be the market where you're actually traditionally from. There's another link below that you can actually access. Talk with a member of my team where they'll give you a consultation and help take you into the best markets. Beautiful thing about being in the military is often you've got subsidized living expenses and sometimes you get these bonuses 
And so there's money sitting in the bank and you're wanting to know what should I do? Okay, number two, don't put your money into the government's concept of 401k, IRA, TSPs and things like that. Your money gets tied up and you can't access it. You need your money going to work for you. So I recommend don't put it in any of those vehicles, no matter what they offer you, you need to make that money go to work for you, which means you got to find a way to put it into a property. This is a time in your life where you can really focus on doing some incredible savings and then taking those savings and then put it into real estate. You're saving up 20% for a down payment. You can be in Hawaii and close on a loan in the United States. That's the beautiful thing. Um, you could take a trip there and you could get everything lined up to actually buy a house with great cash flow. I guess third piece of advice that I do want to share is you want to get into a market. If you watch some of my other videos, I'll give you some advice on markets where you can get super high ROI working with me and my team. Some of my markets have extraordinarily low, what we call a TOP, total out of pockets, a small down payment. And if, as long as you have just kind of average credit or whatnot, boom, you've just bought an investment property. Some of these markets take maybe a $20,000 payment, some 30,000, so you might want to save into that a little bit. But if you want to go faster, that's where you would consider doing what I call my lease option system, right? This is where you're self-taught, self-learned by me as your mentor and team, accessing my Facebook group to ask questions. And now we're helping you doing deals that are either low money down, no money down. They're very, very little risk exposure, but boom, you can go to the marketplace and crush it in real estate. So those are some of the suggestions that I wanted to give you guys is you can get hands on and talk to my team about what that looks like. You read about it in the book. You could actually take some money and actually get with my team and say, hey, I'm busy serving and I'm busy, busy, kind of like you're saying, Chris, do it for me. My team can tee that up for you and actually make that happen for you. When you talk to them, they'll break that down. And then don't put your money in the government's, you know, pockets, take that money and make sure you're putting it in real estate for your financial future. And then lastly, get your hands on my book. Ultimately, I think that my book is going to break down whether you're, you got a lot of time or you're too busy and have little time, whether you have a lot of money or a little money, it's going to break down how you get in the game of real estate and listen, if you're going to be retiring in 20 years, which is often the typical plan, and you're going to be out there serving in that way, have compound interest working for you in the game of real estate. In the meantime, it's going to do wonders for you guys. Listen, thank you guys again so much for your service. Really appreciate you guys. And for everyone else and for you, I bought a truckload of these books. They're just sitting in storage and my team will get them, go ahead and get them shipped out to you. Just click the link in the description below. Get a plan. When you've got a game plan, you can confidently move forward in your life and crush it. Do it.